Charles Darwin published his landmark book on the origin of species in 19, 1859. Its controversial theories undermine creationism. More than 150 years later, evolution is still contentious. Manuel Bajorquez reports on a high-profile showdown in Kentucky that is the talk of social media this morning. Mr. Bill Nye and Mr. Ken Ham. It's a debate that's been going on for years. Creationism. I take Genesis as literal history, as Jesus did. Versus evolution. Mr. Ham, what can you prove? The founder of Kentucky's Creation Museum, Ken Ham, taking on Bill Nye, the science guy. Science rules. The pair squared off Tuesday night in a two and a half hour debate that was streamed online. Your view that we're supposed to take your word for this book written centuries ago is somehow more important than what I can see with my own eyes is an extraordinary claim. We do see the collapse of Christian morality because generations of kids are being taught that the Bible can't be trusted. At one point, they argued over whether Noah could have realistically built the ark described in the Bible. It's very reasonable, perhaps, to you that Noah had superpowers, but to me, that's just uh, not reasonable. Why would you say Noah was unskilled? I mean, I didn't meet Noah, and uh, neither did you. The National Center for Science Education told CBS News it finds such debates counterproductive, in part because, quote, for a scientist to engage in a formal onstage debate with a creationist is to legitimize the creationist position. But Nye says he wanted to draw attention to the importance of science in education. Please, you don't want to raise a generation of science students who don't understand how we know our place in the cosmos, our place in space, who don't understand natural law. We need to innovate to keep the United States where it is in the world. Four states have anti-evolution laws on the books, and four others are considering such measures. A proposed bill in Missouri, for example, would allow parents to pull their kids from classes that teach evolution. While there's little dispute within the scientific community, a recent Pew analysis found that a third of Americans reject the idea of evolution. No one's ever going to convince me that, uh, that the word of God is not true. Is Ken Ham's creation model viable? I, I say no. For CBS This Morning, Manuel Bajorquez.